Hi everyone, uh, this is Melanie from Home to Rome and look at the beautiful Superstition Mountains out here. We're in Gold Canyon, Arizona at the Canyon Vistas RV Resort and today I wanted to go over putting a sunshade on the Girard awnings. Now when we got this RV I was a little worried about putting my shade up. Uh, we'd had it on our previous RV because there's only these two arms for support and I went on Google and found a gentleman who said he'd put a shade on his awning for a couple months and had no issues so I thought okay I'm gonna go for it. So what I did was I took our shade from let me see if you're interested in the name it is Vista Shade there it is at novapd.net innovapd.net and this is a really cool shade because it puts on about four feet of shade and then you can zip on if you can see the zipper here another six feet for ten feet and then you can pull it out and stake it down and make a lot more room so it's pretty heavy that's why I was worried about putting it on this Gerard awning but I took some industrial strength velcro and I put the flat piece right up here along the edge of the awning and it's stuck just using the adhesive from the velcro. I put the fuzzy part on the screen and you can see even after gluing it it's coming apart but I wound up having to put some extra glue trying to make that stay on the screen. Uh oh, got somebody heading out. Okay. Okay. So as you can see you know, I did wait for this to dry before putting it on, but apparently it gets soft in the heat because it's attracted a bunch of dirt and sand and looks pretty tacky up there. And then also, it looks like it came out from underneath here, underneath the Velcro, and got onto my awning. So there's little bumps of glue over here. And so I guess lessons learned is Maybe under here, under your Velcro, when you put it on, put on some frog tape or whatever tape they use to paint the RVs with initially. Uh, I don't know if somebody out there has a better idea for glue or for the tape uh, or for putting it up. I would love to hear them because I've already caused the damage <laughs> on that. Fortunately, it's way up high. You don't notice it when it's turned in. Now, we leave this out. Right now we have caliche here so we can't put stakes in so we just put some big rocks to hold it down. Otherwise we would use stakes. And I've had it out in winds up around 15 miles per hour with no issues. Now tomorrow it's supposed to have gusts to 40 so I will be taking it down. But we love the extra space that this gives us. Uh, it's not real dark inside. It just cuts the shade or the sun by, I don't know, 40 50 percent but this is where Nikki and I hang out most of the day all the time instead of inside the RV we call this RV Deville so seems to have done really well for us uh, no issues but if you have any questions comments or uh, like I said any uh, ideas on what we could use as tape or glue love to hear them so that's Melanie from home to Rome signing out we'll see you on the road